Hello everyone. What I thought I would do in this wee demonstration is remind you of shading techniques that you used or should have used in first and second year. Now, those of you that had me in first and second year will recognise this. I remind my sixth years about this, so I don't think it's a bad thing readdressing different ways of shading using a pencil. So I'm going to take you through these again just to remind you um, so that you can use some of these, not all of them, but you can use some of these in the first drawing that I'm going to ask you to do for um, your first expressive unit, the printmaking unit. Okay, so I'll just pop that to the side. What you're going to need is a pencil. HB's fine. I have got a 2B and a 4B pencil here. Probably can't see that. Oop. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, HB is absolutely fine. If you can get hold of a 2B pencil, then that would be ideal. Um, putty rubber. You probably don't have that. So what I'll recommend is blue tack. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. Okay, you can just use a conventional rubber. Okay, uh, you need a pair of scissors. And you need a, something with a bit of texture. Okay, I've got a dried leaf here, but it can be anything. It could be the wall, it could be the sole of your shoe, whatever. As long as you've got something with a bit of texture, because that is one of the techniques that we're gonna I'm gonna show you. Uh, it's called frottage, but we'll come to that later. Okay, so the first technique I want to remind you of is cross hatching. Very easy, and it involves line building up on top of each other. So you can start with vertical lines and you can see that my lines are quite close to each other. And then you go over the top of that with horizontal line. And you can go over that again with diagonal line and you can see that the tone is getting darker and darker and darker. Okay, so you can try that. You can do that with just vertical and horizontal. Or you can do it with just diagonal. Okay, so you can have a wee play with that. Now my line's getting thicker and thicker the, the harder I'm pressing, but don't worry too much about that. Okay, so that is a really nice technique for you to, to try. Next technique. I'm just trying to check in it's videoing. Okay, it is. Uh, using the side of your pencil to do graduated. Going from dark through to light. Now you can pick up the tech and see I'm picking up the texture of the paper. There must be something underneath this bit of paper that's giving us a little darker bit. But don't worry too much about that. And you can go from light and then you press hard and hard and hard and you get through to dark. That's nice if you've got a big area you want to shade in quite quickly. And as you say, you can pick up the texture of the paper. This is just ordinary photocopy paper you can get from Tesco's. Very cheap, £2.50 for about 100 200 sheets, I think, I can't remember, but it's it's very accessible. If you don't have any paper at home, folks, you could use a net, the back of a le um, letter that's come in that's um, writing on one side, blank on the other. You could use an old envelope. It's okay. This is just for practice anyway, okay? So um, hopefully you'll have some sort of paper at home. You can use the tip of your pencil to do the same. Going from dark through to light. And this is something that all of you do, you all tend to just use the tip of your pencil, but there are, you know, you can use the side, etc. There's loads and loads of different ways you can create shading, tonal value. Value's the word that I might use quite a lot here, so it's the same thing, it's just all tone. Okay. Uh, the next one. Now this involves you a pair of scissors, keep them shut, and you'll remember this, it's a good fun one. You're scraping off the graphite. Just using the uh, wee edge of the scissors, you don't have to open up the scissors and you're smudging in the graphite into the paper. You'll get a lovely smooth um, shading with that. Okay, it's like metal, the surface of metal is good or glass or whatever. Okay, that's a really nice one. Now the next one, you, I would like you to score the surface of the paper. So you might need something soft underneath. I'm just going to put another wee bit of paper underneath. So you're indenting and creating a wee dent in the paper and then you can use the smudging technique and 
or you can use the side of your pencil and you get white lines so you're drawing over the surface and the bit that's dented under is not actually picking up can you see that? that's better, that's quite a good view of it okay that's nice if you want to do blades of grass okay okay so the next bit that I would like to show you is um, the next technique is curved cross hatching so you need to basically do the same as the cross hatching but you're going to use curved lines and we're going from right to left if you're left handed you can go left to right and you can move the paper or you can move yourself but I, can't, I find it moving the paper easier and you're just crossing over like so so you're creating not only you're creating a really nice uh, different different texture of tone that's really what we're after with this one let's go a different direction sorry about the shadow that's okay let's go the opposite way so further apart than the lighter the lighter the volume that's a really nice one okay uh, right using a mask now this is quite nice if you are wanting to keep one area completely clean and you put your bit of paper over to to mask it off or you want to actually create um, a, a shading technique using the mask I'm just going to use the corner of the uh, another bit of photocopy paper I'm just going to use line and again you can press hard with a pencil and you can press soft to get it lighter and darker so drawing on the paper off onto the, where you want to draw and you can see you can creating a really nice nice edge and I'm just going to go in a different direction again pressing soft so remember you can press hard, press soft with your pencil to create different value within the lines that you're using. I'll just do one more. Go in that direction. Cross hatch that as well actually. Okay, so you can create a really nice, um, it's quite a geometric uh, value tonal um, area, but it's really nice nice one to use um, and I'm going to do the same but with a ripped edge so you just rip a wee bit of your paper and I'll just use that wee bit there and I'll use the line again and I'm just going to show you once I've done this I'll just do this a wee bit because it does I don't want this video to go on too long you can fast forward if you're getting bored not a problem Okay, so that's with the ripped edge and I'm just going to take a wee bit of the smudging and show you the same with the smudging technique. This is a really nice one because you get a beautiful edge. You can do this with a hard cut edge as well. You see that? Move it a little bit and you get a really nice... This is nice if you're wanting to create a really nice kind of mountain scene in the background um, of, a, of a pencil drawing that you're doing. Especially if, when we're going to go on to, to draw either the bird or the hair um, in our for our printmaking unit nice sort of sky nice cloudy sky technique that's a really nice one I'm just gonna bring that up to the camera to show you okay it's a close-up of the other two okay so the next one that I'm going to show you is using the putty rubber and the rubber so just draw out an area with a side of your pencil because you can and I want you to smudge an area can you see that okay yep and you just smudge out an area my pencil's only about a centimeter off the top of the paper there okay and I'm using my the hand that I draw with is the scissors are in that hand and the other hand is supporting the pencil and just smudging out and again depending on how hard you press and how dense the scrapings are is how 
light and dark that area is. So just taking a conventional rubber, you can draw with it. Okay, you can actually draw highlights, which is quite nice. Um, this rubber's quite a new one, so you can get a really nice sharp edge with it. You can also dab, but I don't ever find that very effective because I actually do find with the putty rubber this works particularly well. So I've got my putty rubber. Now, putty rubber, um, as I said, I can't remember if I said this at the start of this video, this is my second attempt at this video, and I said it in the other one, but this it's lovely. You can get it in uh, the works, two for 50p, it's or two for a pound, uh, or it's blue tack. If anybody's got blue tack at home, it's the same. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. I'm not sure whether a supermarket sell it or not, but it's not. Oops, Ooh, it's bouncy too. Um, just take a wee bit off, and um, I don't suggest you use anything like. <laughs> please don't use chewing gum. Okay, but you can um, you can manipulate it into a wee nice wee kind of ball, and it's really you can dab, and you get a lovely softness when you dab it away. I hope my hand's not in the way for this. But I shall lift that up to the camera to show you a better view. Here we go. And you can pierce it into a nice sweet edge and use that to draw with. <clears throat> it's quite soft, this rubber. It's quite a good quality one. Some of the harder ones are actually better for getting softer lines. Okay, and you can also, which is quite nice, I'm just going to use this leaf which I'm going to use for the last bit. Um, you can press a texture into this. So let's just take a wee bit of this leaf. Um, so without breaking the leaf. So that's the imprint in the, the rubber. And if you push that, you'll get a really nice, very delicate, you can hardly see, but you get a really nice um, texture of the leaf uh, imprinted. So you can press that into the surface of a wall, of your sole of your shoe if it's clean, and then indent that and you'll get a lovely value, a textured value. Okay, there's, there's lots of texture going on here as well as tone. Okay, so they do kind of marry together quite nicely. And then the last one I'm going to show you is, I'm going to use this leaf and it's frottage uh, and French word for taking a rubbing off the surface of something. You would have all done this in primary school. So I'm going to put the leaf underneath the bit of paper and I'm going to use the side of my pencil and just basically trace through, scratch through and again you'll get a lovely texture but also if you press hard in areas you get a nice darkness. If you press light you'll get a light texture and that's really nice to use just to give your artwork a, a little bit of in, more interest. That's why I'm showing you these folks. It's not just all about doing this, shading in with the tip of your pencil the whole time. Okay, it's about creating lots of different of interest with tone. Um, and that's it. I'd like you to have a shot at trying these. Um, you can photograph it and you can send it to me if you want. Um, it's not compulsory, but this is a nice wee kind of idea of techniques. If you haven't seen these before, then these are new to you, then you can have a practice and try them. Um, and they're preparation for the drawing that we're going to do next. Okay, and I will post that up uh, along with this. Okay, I hope that's helpful.